is my video on record. Um, second part of Sega Genesis Model One. Okay. I was going to make this video until I found my screwdriver. Because, um, I don't know. The other one's weird. This one's better than one. This one has like a flashlight thing. Uh, I guess you remove all the screws. Well, no duh. And I hope this should just pop off. And there are the six screws. Just put this there. Open it up. It's like a bunch of dust in here and spider webs and stuff. I don't know what it is. It looks more like dust. There's bed over here. Which I found a can of compression air someplace. Make more dust. Okay. Cool. Well, if you don't have compressed air, so I'm probably not gonna be able to do anything else. Probably get something else. Okay, I finished cleaning it. I did not take this off though. Because I don't really want it to come off. I don't know. I don't trust myself with this thing. At all, really. Okay. Now it should cut to where Okay, I used compressed air in the Genesis right there. And it ran out. Not surprising, because I had like barely any in it. But, so the controllers. This is one of my Genesis controllers. It works kind of good. My other one, like some of the buttons, stop when you're trying to. Well, don't work that much anymore. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, the six screws. Which I've not removed yet. It's kind of weird because the Genesis has six screws too. And two of them are out. I don't know if I could help you see it, but it's kind of why I couldn't make the video until I got my screwdriver. I do have another one like this. It's not like this one. Like plastic, and it's messed up. Uh, 
This one has like four screwdriver extensions. Okay. And it's also magnetic. A little bit. Here's your controller board thing. Yeah, it's a controller board. It wasn't that dirty. That the inside of the controller truck was. So these buttons actually are pretty easy to take out. It's like this weird stuff on the side that I don't know how to uh, action camera can't pick it up and it can't pick it up even is it okay. it's like I don't know it's, it's like scraping away at the button or something It's also kind of weird. It's, a, it's like a Phillips chip in the controller here. Like, in it. Like, in the back. Okay. And here's the back. If anyone wanted to see that, it has these weird plastic things. I'm not sure what they serve for a purpose. Just things that look like s knobs. I don't know if there's like a number here and like with the letter. No, wrong one. Whatever. Okay, I have my TV on. I'm gonna test my Genesis out, which I know it works, but just for the fun of it. Oh, wait a second, I forgot about this thing. And there it is. Thank you. Nothing. Hey, look, it's on a three. The whole thing. Okay, I got it to work. And it's on the level without the three extension. Let's test out the controller, sort of. Okay, that's not a good sign. That's weird. Have to press harder now for the start button to work. B button, A button, C. Right, down, up, left, right. Hard to play with one hand. But I'm apparently good at it. Maybe there's a record or something. Put the 
button in backwards or something. No. Okay. I have no idea why this didn't work, but let's try it anyways. And it works. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do something about the start button. I shouldn't use a better camera than a tripod. Still playing with one hand. I just wanted to show people, like, I just recently found this out. If you press left three times, right three times, up three times, you hear a ring sound. You press start, then A, and then you get sound test developer mode thing. My study button wants to work. They took a strange Sonic 2 background and then it allows you to do go anywhere in the game. Just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna go to the Death Take Part 2 thing. Still playing with my hand. Very hard. Now I'm going to play with my left hand, because my right hand is tired. And then... I think I'll be able to get through this without saving some extra time in the video. Make it a 15 minute video. There's also a special code you could put in for the sound test thing. I don't believe I can do this. Look, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. It requires two hands. Well. We're back at that. To get out of any gameplay, just push start and A whenever you want not developer mode by doing that code. And you get the ability to do anything, sort of. And just for the heck of it, we need the ice cap. Nope. Flying battery. There it is. Pretty sure you can't see this that well. Yeah. yeah, if anyone knows what how like old PBs burn out, because I'm getting like the screen brightens and then just goes darker. And I don't know if you can see this, but like here, like this stuff is supposed to be there, and there, and there, and there. But, for some reason, it doesn't want to use these, this side of the screen, or the very top of the screen, or the very bottom, or this side, either. For some reason, it doesn't do that. It's 14.55 minute thing. And I can't jump that well. Okay, 15 minutes.